Good morning, this is your media report for Tuesday, July 22nd, 2014. I'm Sergeant Jay Henderson, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. Going back to yesterday's calls for service, we responded to 99 calls in the last 24-hour period. St. John Police Force wants to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations, and we can be reached by telephone at 506-648-3333 at our email police at stjohn.ca, or if you wish to do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimemb.ca. Yesterday afternoon at 4 p.m., one of our North End Patrol units, which was located on McLaren Boulevard, noticed a male wanted by our department for a recent attempted robbery that was reported last Friday night at 9.05 p.m. on Patterson Street. This 25-year-old male was arrested and taken into custody without incident. He is being held in our detention facility, expecting to make a provincial court appearance later today, facing a robbery charge. At 4.42 p.m., we responded to a financial institution uptown on King Street regarding a male who was trying to pass off and cash fraudulent checks. As a result, a 30-year-old male was arrested and taken into custody. He has since been released with a future provincial court date to answer to the approved criminal charges. At 10.45 p.m. last night, we received a call to a local hotel on Major Brook Drive in East St. John concerning two males that were intoxicated and causing problems in and around this hotel. As a result of the two males, one was checked and, and was found to have numerous warrants for his arrest as well as conditions to abstain from the consumption of alcohol and a night curfew which he was clearly in violation of. He was immediately arrested and is being held in our custody expecting to make a court appearance later today to answer to the approved charges. At 10.46 p.m., we conducted a vehicle traffic safety stop on Union Street near Chipman Hill. As a result of this traffic stop, a 50-year-old male driver was taken into custody, facing a criminal charge of re refusing to provide a breast sample and also violation of a court order to abstain from the consumption of alcohol. His vehicle has since been towed and his driver's license has been suspended for a period of three months. He remains in police custody and is expected to make a provincial court appearance sometime today facing the approved criminal charges. At 11.27 p.m. last night, we received a call concerning a possible impaired driver and description including license plate of a black Jeep Cherokee as a suspected vehicle. Within a couple of minutes, we located this vehicle and conducted a vehicle stop on Fairville Boulevard in West St. John. A 43-year-old female driver provided a breast sample to which produced a warning. She was subsequently issued a 7-day driver's license suspension. And lastly to report, on July 5th of this year at 1.15 a.m., we responded to a break and enter at a commercial business off of Rossay Road. As a result of this investigation, a video security camera picked up the lone suspect who entered this business and is responsible for this break and enter. As you can see on the video, he is described as wearing a bluish purple style jacket with red around the neck or upper chest, a black stripe around the lower chest of the jacket, he has his hood up and his face covered by a balaclava or scarf. He is also observed wearing gloves, blue jeans and white sneakers. Anyone who recognizes this male or has any information pertaining to this case is asked to contact us. And this will end your media report for today, July 22nd. Have a great day and be safe.